Hello everybody, this is Bones, and uh, today we are doing uh, Andera Kilo. I know I totally butchered that, but look, it is what it is. Um, I did look it up though, out of respect, it's Portuguese, and it means uh, various things like pedestrian, wanderer, um, fitting, I think, for a survival game. It's a bit loud here, so we're gonna we're gonna crank that down a little bit. So let's go ahead and turn that main volume down. Um, now, those of you who remember Radiation Island, um, which I said was not bad, I'm gonna go ahead and dock a few points though. Uh, I decided to play it a little longer. I uh, encountered some zombies, and they really took me out of the immersion. I found them cheap, frankly. I didn't like that. One thing I tell you I don't like about Inhilo right off the bat um, is that you'll see here, when we changed our options, it didn't save it. You have to click save, or they just don't save. I feel like that should be automatic. That's a small nitpick, but it's still a nitpick. Um... I'll give this guy credit, he's still working on the game, unlike another one, and again, I'm not trying to be a dick here, but it, look, baby, it is what it is, right? Um, you'll see a decent lighting engine. Now, this is, I believe, a one-man team, or a small team, but I think this is one dude. Uh, this is a Portuguese game, and we're going to do a brand new game. And just like I said before, the original game is often 49 cents. I got this gifted to me. Um, and at the time, there was aliens, vehicles, and zombies. All three were $2.49, making it a great bang for the buck. Guns was not included. Um, an old rust friend of mine. I want to say an old rust friend of mine. Somebody gifted this to me, I'm pretty sure. Um, so really less than even, like, just a snack. You can't even get chips and salsa for this. Um, so for both games, so that it's equal, I'm doing this. Um, and I jerked around a little bit with the game here, just to relearn it. God, I really need to get a mask that I can, like, cut a hole into. I should get a second one of these and cut a small slit so I can put a straw and drink. So I do get very thirsty while I do these. Um, I do apologize here for one thing, and that is that no, we have not been as consistent. One reason. By the way, can we just take a moment? I would like to appreciate the HUD. And there's one main reason. This guy has really been working hard. When this game first came out, um, I had known a buddy who had had it, and he gifted it to me, and he said it worked great for him. He had a worse computer than me. I run a quad-core computer. Uh, it ran horrible on my computer, so much so that I was getting maybe 5 uh, to 3 FPS just wandering the forest. I was pretty pissed about it. Um, but couldn't be that mad. I mean, I got it gifted, so... How mad can you be about that, you know? Now, there are chickens. I suppose you could say there's some cock in this game. Bad dad joke. Alrighty, we headed to the lowbrow humor. We did. But you all love lowbrow humor. It gets me viewers. God knows we need them. Um, now I'm gonna bring up again here. I brought up one thing. Uh, what do you guys think about us doing a let's play game? Let's play a board game channel. You like the idea? One thing I'll say about Andrew Hillo here, and I know I'm mispronouncing it, we're going to call it uh, The Hillo. Uh, even better. Let's call it Last Man on Earth. That's the unofficial name of this game as far as I'm concerned. Last Man on Earth. Because you are truly the last man on Earth. Um, now, mind you, if you just want the experience without any enemies, you just drop the 49 cents, and you will still see weird-ass UFOs. There's a zombie there. Now, you can pick 
can fight zombies, or you can pick you fight pink guy you're wearing a bikini because I don't feel like getting yelled at or this video flag. I had not yet been restricted anything, so I'm cool with that. Am I gonna die already? Don't let me die already. Jeez, is my guy this much of a bitch right off the bat? I think I'm gonna die already, guys. I do, I do. I do, I do. We had a little time to play tonight, and I'm up loving this. Anyways, so some other technical difficulties that have happened. Um, OBS crapped out of me, so I needed to get a new version of OBS. And I'm just gonna die, screw it. I feel like anymore in survival games, zombies have become increasingly a pain in the ass to the point where they're not even interesting. Um, my favorite actual zombie-related game is a board game. Um, one of my favorite ones is a game from a guy out here in Ann Arbor, big shout out to him. Called Zombie in My Pocket, look it up if you don't have a copy. It's a free print and play game. Um, what do you guys think of the idea of us doing? Are you down with the idea of us doing a Let's Play board game? Some of you said yes, some of you said no, not enough of you answered. And as I said before, I'm not going to do a segment for three people. Alright, it's just not feasible. So do let us know. Now, drinking toilet water, probably not what I do in real life. Although I've read somewhere in a survival book that the water off the top of the toilet, totally clean and feasible and drinkable. I, I, I'll, I'll still boil my water and tell it today with that. Personally. Personally, that's me. Um, that is a pickaxe, so we're gonna save the pickaxe. No, did you knock that off? Now this you never want to mess with. That's rotten meat. I'm not even sure why it's in the game personally. Uh, but you'll hear some good sound effects here. For a one-man team, what I like to do, um, because I have practiced a little bit with both these, Radiation Island and the other, I gotta say I'm a little bummed by Radiation Island, because I really wanted to love it, and I did. And I like a lot about it. I feel like the zombies kill the immersion. Uh, the, the wildlife alone was good enough, I think. If I had to turn off the options on... Turn off the zombies option for Radiation Island. Even if you still kept, like, the crazy doctors. I'd be fine with that. I really would. Just, guys. Developers. Hear my plea, man. Enough with the fucking zombies. Seriously. Ooh, we get it. Scary zombies. Well, they're not scary anymore. It's just dumb now. Ooh, zombies. Here's Who gives a shit? Get over it. We've done it, dude. We've seen it. I don't care no more. Fucking move on. Good lord, give us something new. Show us something we haven't seen a billion times before, would you? Anyways, I'm running out of daylight here, so let's, uh, quit pitching. And now you can actually use a pre-made bed. So, exploring houses and, uh, and Drillo seems worth it to me. Um, and he has made strides here to make these a little more worth it. And he's, see, there's that little nappy ass crackhead bitch that messes with those flat So we're gonna try and ninja out maybe a side door here. I don't remember how to duck. There we go. I'm gonna let her waddle on out like Paris Hilton and cooking. Get out of here. No, watch Paris Hilton would be the one person who tweets something nasty about me. I don't care. The fuck off. You're rich. Or she'll take a joke, and if she does, knock down, thank you for taking a joke. I appreciate it. If it offends you, I, I really don't care. I don't even have enough money for you to even bother suing me. Um, I'm doing this YouTube video, frankly, to help put my daughter to... Uh, I'm doing these to help my daughter's college fund and to help our way of life to help our, our, our dogs get the very best dog life they can have to help space cats 
finally live his dream of being a cat going to outer space. And yeah, all the all the other groovy and cool shit that we can get these animals. Because we believe animals should have pretty awesome lives. And uh, while we're not poor, we are well certainly just everyday middle class people. Um, I'm not, you know, Logan Paul. I don't got Markiplier money. We're just trying to get by, man. That's all. Now, that said, some interesting things about this game that I do not see in the others that I would like to point out very quickly here, guys. It's getting dark, so the first night I want to get my ass in and slap it. Rest it up. Very quickly. You're going to use a lot of sticks. Um, again, this game on sale, I would at least recommend you pick up the base game. Because it's growing, there is an effort being made to improve it. I can't tell you if this is game is for you or not. Um, the developer's fairly nice. I certain, I haven't had a problem with the guy. Um, he's Portuguese, if I remember. The name of the game is Portuguese, so I'm assuming. Maybe I'm wrong. I did not assume his gender, don't worry. I you like 9,000 different gender, or multiple gender, or 60,000 gender people. I simply assume that he is possibly, possibly, uh... Portuguese, because I believe he is. And if I'm wrong on that and that offends you, then I suggest uh, you get a fucking life. I don't, I don't really care. I mean, if, if you're just that determined to be a professional victim, then who fucking who, really? I've got enough shit to do in my day to not be worried about uh, your little whiny feelings constantly. Um, now, right off the bat here, we can make an iron spear, and we want to do that. Uh, now, this says the rough cooldown crafting. I don't mind that. And, uh, right off the bat, we're going to start with the metal spear, because every advantage we can get, since we actually have an, an, uh, an enemy this time. In the base game, you will not have an enemy. One caveat that I don't like about this one, no fishing. It may sound sophomoric, but my favorite thing to do in Minecraft is to build a little home in the ground, in the hill, and just chill out and fish. Um, we're going to chill out in here. I do like that I can check out outside the window. I was told, by the way, in options, the first thing you should do is click on day-night effects. For some reason... It may not be on on default, it's supposed to be. If it's not, click it, and then click save, and then that will save it in case your game starts dark. Do that and reset your game and then do it. I do like the HUD. The HUD is clean. Um, in the past, the HUD was not quite as clean. I don't like the crafting menu, and I'll tell you why. It used to have armor. I don't know where my armor went, but I want my armor back. So, I think this is all now. That's tools, weapons, ammunition, building, others. Now, another thing I'm curious about, I have the gun DLC. Why can't I craft a gun? Make that happen, Doug, please. Maybe I kind of just need this too. Oh, I can repair stuff there. Furnace, pretty typical. Most survival games such a thing now. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna go chicken hunting. Uh, we're, we're gonna keep one of these homes in my base of operations. We're gonna look for a gun, so I don't gotta make one. See if I can get lucky enough to worry about that nonsense. It's nine. We're gonna time and see what time I can sleep. We have some medicine. Water, I think, will eventually be reworking to something. I would like to see the, the the daisy style, so that you could do like a canteen and a well, and even purify. And a few things I would do, and if 
I programmed a survival game. Here's what it has. No zombies. You would either have some new weird monster. And I think it would be like a vegetation. Um, like the old Dungeons and Dragons shambling mound looking creature. A giant bush based creature that shambled and groaned and was slow kind of like a zombie but by far creepier because if you're not paying attention to something that looks like a moving bush or tree and that thing creeps up on your ass you're gonna notice. Uh, I don't remember if there's a spyglass in here but we're gonna go inside. One thing about real life survival and survival games please always be aware of your surroundings always there is not a spyglass in here but i'm going to suggest to the developer make that please spyglass or binoculars man a uh, compass is pretty easy to make and we're gonna pop that puppy drag and drop you got two hands i do like that i'm sick of games where you can carry the equivalent of I think Superman, so I do actually like that. And what's the, for what would you like it? That's it's not gonna help you. Well, you know what, Dick? Sometimes it's good to have a few limitations. It makes the game more challenging. Um, we're also gonna go ahead and say wear and tear on the axe. This is kind of my base of operation, so I'm not quite sure. I want to say there's a map. Is there a map? Is there a map map? Is this not a map map of, this, of the town? Developer, if you can hear me out there, buddy. Map map of the town. Another must, sir. Definitely a must. Um, craftable guns. I'd like to see that. I, I'm digging so far what you've done here. I can build a fence around this area. Which I will do. Um, once I get my shit straight. I am gonna look real quick since no zombies are here and see what a fence needs to, ha to have. Fence one. Five planks. No planks you can make out of wood. So get your wood, get your planks. Get your money, boo boo. Well, not to snoop there. Some of you wouldn't understand, some of you would. Snoop is one of the coolest cats. Some of you call him a snitch. I don't. But kind of really know. I'm not in that whole West Coast East Coast bullshit. Again. Um, here's some thoughts, by the way. Uh, what do you guys think so far? Which game are you liking more? As you can see, I think the name, uh, Last Man on Earth is appropriate. It reminds me of the old Vincent Price movie, Last Man on Earth, which was a remake. Uh, can anybody tell me what the original movie was called? I do not quite remember. There was a movie, Vincent Price's movie was based on, that ironically enough, Will Smith's movie, I Legend, is a remake of. So Will Smith remade the Vincent Price movie that was the original. And it was basically the movie that became I Legend for Will Smith. It was originally called Last Man on Earth. Um, in the original, it was zombies. Oh, fuck me running. I did not expect this bitch to keep moving. Can we duck and weave and slap old apple her? Oh, me. He's so fucking invincible, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm just gonna keep it moving. Bev, come on now. Okay, so these zombies are just ridiculously difficult to kill and just not realistic in the least. I mean, let's be honest here. This is dead flesh. Would it be this hard to cut open? No. She should be just blistered and bruised and just sliced all oh to hell and I'm not a quitter we don't give up that easy do we no 
very new code when I need your meat. This guy don't even give a shit. It's like, alright, for the cause of the... For the cause of the video. First of all, sorry Peter. Second of all, sorry Miss Jackson. I am for real. Third of all, let's have some wood. Buff the wood. As Polly Shore used to say. If you can't catch that, youngins. Alright. I have lost an exuberant amount of shit here. Thank you. We need stones, we need everything we can carry. Everything. Alright, get those up there. No, not for the thing. Yeah, I'd be fucking cool. Um, I don't know how all of this works, but I do know for a fact that I can't just forever, like, stack meat in this, I don't think. I do believe there is a limit. Um, I do know one thing. These zombies are bullshit. Uh, so whoever decided to make them developer, fix this shit. Because it's bullshit. Your zombies should not be this difficult. Um, and this is a due to, you know, screw up playing tons of this shit. And these motherfuckers are still... I don't mind zombies that are slightly difficult. But they're fucking invincible, practically. Thank God I did not go with your alien. Because if your aliens are as tough as your zombies, there's really no point to fighting them. Um, and I really hate to bitch about that, but, uh, they're actually harder than the ones in the, uh, that other game I told you about, that radiation. Now, those were some hard-ass zombies to kill. They actually were. They were not easy in the least. Um, I can't say where the, they were the worst, but I will certainly say that they fucked that whole game up. I feel like they made it... You know what, I'm not even fucking around with it. They made it very, very, very unbalanced. And that is the absolute truth. Um... You know I don't play around with this shit. That's exactly what I mean. That's exactly what I mean. I feel like they made it heavily unbalanced. There we go, now we got a heavy hitter. My grandpa used to say we got a pumpkin. As I used to say, we got a slap of apple. I never said that. Um, so the spear is pretty much just a thrown weapon. So what good is that shit? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait because we can find those. I've seen a lot of those found. We have a bigger problem right now, and that is getting past this little asshole outside. The old Yule Brunner looking motherfucker. So let's peek up. He's up there. Uh, can I sneak past him? Well, we can at least drink toilet water. By the way, in real life, guys, do not try to survive on toilet water. You will die. It is poison. Um, now, one of my bitches, there used to be up here a quick button. I, I would like the developer, if he's watching this, please bring that back. That was very useful. It's very intuitive. Um, I think I may have... Uh, I don't know who complained about it, but whoever did, that was not smart on their part. Because to me, I thought that was a pretty cool feature. And I don't really know why it's missing. I don't I don't see the point in not having it personally. There are two of them over there now and I'm fucking trapped. We're gonna try and get past them and help with their eyes. Well, he's here now. Oh, it's even better than that. 
sure that I hate to do this shit, but can I just peek out and come straight to the door? What happens if I... Looks like she's from Monday Night Wrestling, this bitch. Like, this is that lady that's like, Jerry, you have my corn chips! And I told you to keep away from that! You were supposed to keep away from Bessie! Well, fuck your Bessie, lady. Fuck your Bessie. Uh, on top of it now, you have given me your weird Hillbilly STDs. Not that there's anything wrong with Hillbilly, folks. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There's really not. I don't mind them so much. I don't know a few good ones, I know a few bad ones. I don't really judge so much. But I'll say one thing, these zombies are pain in the ass. Now maybe I'm doing it wrong, maybe it's a bit... Oh, fuck off, all of ya. I'm not even playing with this shit, we're just getting the fuck out of here. I don't know where I'm going. But I'm going anywhere where these little assholes are not. Uh, fuck the George Romero remakes for making running zombies. Worst poor decision ever. Zombies were the inevitable death. And that's what made them scary. Not that all these little assholes run. It's almost like, what's the fucking point? Because you're just never, ever, ever going to kill them. They're never doing anything. They're just there. Um... In horror games, to me, they're just not scary anymore. They're just... They're just there. They hang around, you never get rid of them, they moan, they whine, they bitch. It's sort of like your ex-girlfriend, only... And I know that's gonna piss the YouTuber off, but you know what? Good, maybe then you'll fucking comment for a change. Jeez, we got 20 of you who follow us. Interact, people. Talk. We want to hear from you. You're our fans. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't. I don't care. Just talk to us. Please. This is what we are trying to get working here, guys. We want to hear from you. We want to know what you guys want on the channel. What do you want to see on the channel? What sorts of stuff do you like? What to make you happy, you know? What do you want to hear from us? Let's see something. Basically is what we're saying. Alright, so finally, I first thing we did with it. I don't like that. Um, now, I don't have the Galleon DLC activated, so thank God we're only one... one recipe, but from what I understand, even without it activated, they're still there. They're not there, so to speak, but they're there, if you tell me. It's what I was told happened. I also think it's kind of loophole. I'm not going to tell you what I did, but if you noticed it, if you noticed it, and if you paid attention, you noticed it. Um, I don't want to, I don't like to point out a developer's shortcomings in case shit went down. Because for one thing, that ain't cool for the poor dev, you know? <laughs> Other things I'd like to see in this game. How about a few more weapons? Um, a sling, a slingshot would be a great one. Headshots with those to kill, because a slingshot to the head would easily crush. Um, and if you don't believe me, you are very incorrect. Look up the numbers on the velocity of a slingshot steel ball bearing to the head. And you will find that one of those puppies, which is weighted, travels in around... How's it looking, guys? I want to crack that down the street. Waddle in this way, so we're gonna lock this bitch up. 
I need to find another way out of here though, where they're not looking and that ain't it. Boarding up the windows would be something that would be good too for survival, wouldn't it? I'd like to see that incorporated. Um, oh, there we go. Pretty shit here. Yahtzee, Yahtzee, baby. This is what I mean, though, about not needing to find arrows. Sometimes you get lucky and find them, but a bow would be great uh, to go with these arrows. Now, one thing that I'm talking about here, by the way, is uh, bow and arrow. If you know anything about them, you, you, you know how devastating an arrow is. They fly extremely quickly, but even more than an arrow, uh, bow and arrow, is a pebble. Um, a decent polished rock, or even a marble, or even, uh, I got my sling up there on the wall, a sling bullet, they're called, made out of, used to be lead. You know, there were Romans that used them in the war, and man, they laid waste to people. Um, and because they were heavier than an arrow, they weren't affected as much by wind or rain. Therefore, they did some insane damage. Insane. Um, sling troopers were a whole trooper unit. They were a real unit of soldiers. And they were considered very dangerous. And I know people are like, yeah, right. I'm gonna tell you what, if you don't believe me, you go call one of those guys a punk bitch and uh, stand in front of them and let them whip a full sling bullet to your head. And by the way, obviously, don't really do that. You'll, you'll die. Um, and I'm not kidding you. You will die. That is not like a joke. So please don't do that. Genuinely, please don't do that. I don't want to be responsible for anybody's death because uh, they're being dumb about this. Um, other things, Dev, that I would like to see in this game, if I may inquire. Um, Project Zomboid, one of my favorite earlier survival games before I got sick of zombies. I think this is one of those, by the way, that if he fleshed it out more in the world, gave us a bigger map and more to explore, could stand on its own merit with just a few animal predators and no need for zombies. The zombies certainly need tweaking. I've never tried the aliens. Judging by the amount of UFOs that come, they're everywhere. There's a zombie wandering the street a bit. I want to look down and make sure they don't see me. Hello there, neighbor. Uh, for a gun DLC, I'm also going to bitch a little and say I don't see guns. I have not come across a gun, and frankly, I would think I should be able to at least make one. So that's kind of annoying. Um, so, so far my stronghold has stayed of a house. It will for a while. Probably the rest of this playthrough. Uh, when I don't have an enemy, I will go ahead and build and see how I do with that. Originally, now, I'm not going to lie to you all, the forest was one thing that I was considering doing as a let's play. What happened with that? Uh, my friends punked out. That's what happened with that. I've had two different people tell me, oh yeah, 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 boom, so I'll be way left to with you. Um, great fans, one is a dear friend, one is a person who became a friend, was originally a casual friend and fan of the show, likes Gary quite a bit, that likes me, and then I uh, wanted to do uh, Left 4 Dead 2, I told him I was zombied out because I fucking hate a lot of zombie things, uh, although there's a board game uh, I'm getting uh, that is in that. Um, it's by the people who make tiny epic adventures and those sorts of games, and they are doing a late Kickstarter campaign game. You can Google them and look at that and get on board with it. Get on board soon because it's almost over with, and it has a ton of shit 
And the action figures, some of the coolest I've seen, they're called meeples. You can actually put shit right in their little hands, so like chainsaw one hand, that's in the other, co-op. You can even play it single player. Um, and it takes place in the mall like a good old fashioned on their own movie. I'm excited to get it. Um, it may very well be one of those, as I've said before, less pay of origin gifts. We're thinking of doing them. You guys let me know your thoughts. If enough people say yes, it'll happen. If enough people are like, man, fuck off, it won't happen because fuck you too. But we'll see. We'll see. Not really fuck you too. I mean, come on now. Not a dick. But, uh, that's not polite. Don't say that to me, jerks. No, you're thinking. I didn't really say it to you. Well, I didn't say it to you either. How would that happen? Where are you? Boom. Hey, one thing, after this, man, I'm drinking a ton of water. I don't know what my deal is, but I feel, like, massively thirsty. Uh, you're gonna think I'm nuts, but do you, do you guys ever feel thirstier after playing a survival game? Like a mental thing? Is there a, is there like, a phrase for that? I feel like it's a mental thing. I really do. I feel like after you play one of these games, you are naturally thirstier. I think that's a real thing. I do. You can laugh at me, laugh at me all you want. Um, I'm sticking to it, man. I think it's a real thing. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I don't think I am. Okay, so the wooden bag is out of question. Now if you're staying in a home, you don't need a sleeping bag or a cloth currently. Um... Things I would like to see. I would like to see the ability to board up windows. You can reinforce them. Even if zombies don't quite get in, I like these zombies to be weaker. You know, the kind that would bang on a door and if it's not reinforced, they'll bring their ass in. They're uh, reinforced, the zombies can't get them down. I think it would give you reason to need that hammer instead of just staring at the damn thing. You know, just stuff like that. So if the dove out there takes a look, or someone like we have things, if somebody out there does watch this and decides to tell the dev, and please do. Um, I've tried to friend the guy and see him a few times, but no luck. I have a few questions for him. Uh, I would like to see this game grow. I think, uh, even though the art isn't the best, it doesn't really matter. To me, I would rather see a game that's a great game than a game with fantastic art that's a shitty game. See, this is what I mean, though. How the hell can this fix seem this quickly? I'm gonna try to stick and, stick and move that. I don't like that. The like Captain America says, I don't like it. Also, I don't think you can craft much in the way of first aid here, and I think that's a bunch of bullshit. So I need to raid homes and all this shit, but... What are we learning so far? Zombies are fucking indestructible in these games. Seriously. Unfucking real. I'm not fighting this bitch. This is ridiculous. Um, you can actually go and get a car and fill it up with gas. I'm not kidding you. I didn't understand why, but then again, I've normally played with single player. I get why now. That's to keep away from these nasty ass crackhead ass bitch zombies. So eating does help you a bit. I'm guessing it helps you healing rate, sort of thing. Which means it just burn through a bunch of this shit. And there is a car. So let's see if we can do this. And get this stupid fucking crackhead out of my guy's life. Can we do this? I don't want your trunk, bitch. I wanna... 
Let's put this in. Where do we? Why not? I know when I drive a car, I just dump the. It's just down here, baby. It's easy to get in. I'm pressing the easy to get in right here. Back off with it. I press the E key to get in. Oh, F key. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Don't expect me to go to get any crazy. Um, I actually consider you guys, and I want your opinion on this video. Um, how about we do a... I thought of doing a No Man's Sky. Series. You guys were not thrilled with that. So far, so few of you liked it, but I got zero, zero responses on the idea. So clearly we're not loving that one. So let's talk some other ones that you would like. What games as far as No Man's Sky, that kind of thing, in my area, oh, shit. Okay. Um, this car is just going to be my neighborhood cleanser. Oh, this bitch is getting it. Fucking eat it. Oh, the car is an equalizer now. I don't. Okay, so. Just so we know now, guys. The human body cannot stand up to a tree. Or to a uh, car. At a sapling, totally fucking car. Video game logic 101. How is the ragdoll in this better than the graphics? This ragdoll is phenomenal. So come on, baby. I get there undead, but I shouldn't like limbs be off. Some limb damage of some sort of death. Come on, baby. I mean, look at this shit. I, I am like... The fucking Mario and Freddy running over zombies. You know, I'm the fucking tater salad of handling white trash zombies. Give me some cops here. That ought to be a fucking... This should be... Some sort of sport. I would play a game. Oh yeah, they made one. They made one. It's a Carmageddon reference, but... Originally, Carmageddon was based on Death Race 2000. Great Roger Corman. Yeah. Uh, the remake sucked. Sorry, Jason Statham. Not your fault, buddy. You can just give it shitty scripts. Also, I think you think you're a better action star than you are. Not that you're a shitty one, but you can't do it all, pal. Sorry. I know some of you are going to be like, oh my god, yes you can, but look. Shut up. Really. Just so. Uh, again, not trying to put down Mr. Statham. Wonderful man, I'm sure. Great all around gent. Tut tut and all that good stuff. But, let's be honest. No one can do everything on Earth. No one. Um, and, you know, it's got his limits, man. It's got his limits. Time to leak some homes freely now that we've cleared the roads a little. So, what do we learn in this game, folks? Learn from my mistakes. Grab the car fuel first. Ram the shit out of the zombies. We could pair a Hilton on a free pill binge. Clean water comes from toilets. Bottled water does, so get it all. Bring everything back to a centralized location. You're gonna wanna make yourself oh my shit. You guys see what's on that table? I am a shivering and anticipate 
patient. Yeah, I didn't do it justice. But let's be honest, I've been Tim Curry. Who can? Tim fucking Curry. Come on, you. Talk about a legend right there. Frank and Curtis. Genius. Genius, genius. Probably one of the most genius girls ever made. Uh, also, I think there's like an infection here. Maybe I should check that thing. I'm liking if I could click this and see what that is. Well, let's continue this and see what it does. It does nothing else. Water is always good for you, though. I will tell you in real life, do not drink over a gallon of water a day. If you're one of these health nuts doing that, please stop. Um, this is true, what they're finding out. Yours truly used to be a massive health nut. I worked out a lot, dude. I worked out three hours a day, six days a week. I was big. Big muscles. Big muscles. I was big. I drank so much water, in fact, that I found out I was pissing away my nutrients. So I would eat. I got to the point where I had all the side effects of a urinary tract infection without having a urinary tract infection. I was pissing, or feeling the need to piss when I wasn't even needing to piss. It got ridiculous. Um, and I was peeing almost clear. And my doctor told me, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're drinking three times more than you're actually eating, and you're eating a steak big enough for three men because you are working out so much and you're like pure muscle. And I'm like, well yeah, I work out a lot. And he's like, yeah, I understand this cheap, but you're eating whole chickens per day. And steaks. Giant steaks. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay. You're not seeing what I'm saying. I'm like, what are what are you saying? He's like Eat more salads drink less liquids. So, that was my big takeaway from that. In a nutshell, from my doctor was, not get that far. Uh, so anyways, to recap here for a month, we've had to uninstall tonight, reinstall OBS. I don't know what happened, but something happened where it messed my camera up, faded my camera, would not play nice with it. Um, if my camera quality doesn't quite look as good as it used to, we have Slightly tweaked it so it's a little easier on the file size. And the reason is because a simple one hour video, OBS, records a wildly huge video. So if you use OBS, you're a YouTuber, or not a YouTuber even, and you already know this. That's just a given. But what those of you who just watch these YouTube videos, you know, record them, don't know is a hour long video is starting to get up there. The rake video took me four attempts to upload. Four. Um, was it worth it? No. It's one of my least viewed videos, guys. Least viewed. That's the frustration of being a YouTuber. That video that was barely even viewed took me two and a half hours to friggin' upload to YouTube because their upload rates are so slow. Well, and then I look at the size of the video. That video was almost 8 gigs big. No wonder it took so damn long. All of that is because of the way OBS records videos. Therefore, that is a thing that I now use to program to encode. So there's a lot of work that goes into our Let's Play. So, at the very least, you could at least share it on your social media. When we do a Let's Play, if you're a fan of their work, then we're asking all of you to please start sharing on your social media. Help us out with that, at least. Put out the word about Bones, Gary, Shelly, the rest of our goofy asses, and in return, we will keep providing the content you love, and do our best to make a very wacky dacky little... Beep beep, here come the sheep. You didn't see that coming, did you? And twice, because you keep pissing me off. 
Oh, you ain't catching no crab cake, Greg. Post it in the comments, guys, if you don't know what movie that's from, and if you don't, what are you doing with your life? Because you should, it's hilarious. Another great quote from that one. <laughs> they say they got you... Sorry, it's funny. They say they got you on camera stealing boxes. What, are you trying to build a clubhouse? And they got me on camera stealing no boxes? You're tripping. You don't know what that is. You should. You know? Do you know? If you don't know, I'm, I'm just saying. If you don't know, it is Friday, the original. Get your asses out there and see that movie. I mean, come on. It is hilarious. Uh, by far one of the funniest movies I've seen in ages. And, you know... You know, and let's talk for a minute here, can we please, about this whole weirdness about Black Panther and all this. Uh, are we really at the age where it matters if a superhero is black or white? Are we really there? Um, because I, I have a little thought of that uh, on my own. And, uh, man, it's, it's a weird one. Now, you're going to think I'm strange, but uh, my, my thought on it is who gives a fuck? Who cares? He's cool looking. I want to see him do cool shit. I want to see him beat up bad guys. And do cool Marvel Black Panther shit. I waited my whole life to see this badass character. Who is a badass. Who is a certified badass. Do the cool certified badass shit. That I my whole life have wanted to see him do. And now you got these jackasses that are wool. He's black. Are you sure? I thought he was Puerto Rican. I couldn't tell. Who cares? But the other side of the coin is, why do we care now? No one gave a shit with Blade. Why do we care about this dude? Why is it such a big deal now? Where the hell were all of you protesting when Blade was a thing? No one cared. He was a badass black dude who just beat the shit out of people. And you know what? No one gave a fuck. No one gave a fuck. And honestly, rightfully so, who cared? Who fucking cared? It was a guy who was going there and doing cool shit, and it was awesome. Who cared? No one cared. That's who. Just so shut up. So, there's another superhero. Who happens to be black? Oh, boo hoo! Who cares? Oh, that's but that's gonna mess with the nuts. They're gonna take over this. No, no dude. I haven't, I haven't had a single black person suddenly like try to take over anything on me. They haven't come out of the woodwork like vampires or Nosferatu and shit. Nothing weird has happened. Let's calm it all down, people. We've lost our fucking minds here. It's gonna be okay. Alright? How about we just appreciate it for what it is? A really good fucking comic movie. And if you haven't seen it, then you don't get the right to bitch, because you don't even know. I've seen it. And it is an awesome, awesome Marvel movie. One of the best I've seen. The action on that is amazingly well choreographed. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of African American people in it. If that bothers you, I suggest then, you either get over it or you just don't fucking watch it. But I mean, honestly, if, if that is your real hang up with it, you may have some deep rooted issues that you need to get over. And I mean, I don't know. Let's be honest. Not everybody who has a deep-seated issue with black people is necessarily racist in the way me and you think they're racist. I will go out on a limb and give them that. I'll, I'll extend that olive branch, I'll say. But does it look good for you? No. No. Uh, probably, uh, probably not there. Probably not. If, if I had to say, I would say no. No, probably not. 
Um, do I think that it automatically makes you a racist person? No, I don't. I think America is a weird place, and people are freaked out right now. And people are worried right now about shit. And people are not sure of what to do. We're not sure where we are. We're not sure of... Well, really, frankly, now, I don't think we're sure of anything. Well, in my honest opinion, I think we're scared to death. We're scared to be right. We're scared to be wrong. We're scared to talk. We're scared to... Uh, say the right thing, we're scared to say the wrong thing, and we're just at an age where now we feel like we don't know what to say or what not to say. You know what I mean? So that if it's like, oh, well, I can't say this because I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Well, one, are you saying stupid shit you shouldn't say? If the answer there is yes, and let's be honest, you know what dumb shit is. You know what dumb shit is. That's not something you wake up one day and go, Is this a dumb thing? You know what dumb shit is. Don't be dumb. That said, do I think that people have a right to their opinion? Of course I do. Everybody's got a right to their opinion. Um, and I don't think that, as a culture, we should be flipping out because one person may have a difference of opinion. Everybody's got a right to an opinion. That's the whole fucking point of having an opinion. If you don't got a right to your opinion, what are we doing as a culture? What are we doing? How am I any better than the next guy? I'm gonna give this dude shit over his opinion. I'm not. No better. Um, yeah. I give opinions on here. Maybe I sound like an asshole, and if I do, and you can think I'm an asshole. And you know what? That's fine. That's your right. Okay. Good enough. That said, just don't be an asshole. That, that would be my other big life lesson. Try not to be an asshole to people. Uh, it just, uh, you know, usually in history, being an asshole don't favor you. Usually in history. I'm not saying all the time, but usually. I don't know how long I've been playing, but I feel like I've been playing quite a while. Um, and I also feel like we, we haven't really done much in this. Well, as you see here, now we've looted, we found a few weapons. We've got a car. So let's recap here. I feel like this is a game that wants to be great and could be. The guns, we need a much wider variety. Shotguns. I like to see an older pistol, like this one here, like a little flintlock. Not a flintlock, but like a hand cannon would be great. You know? Um, and maybe it's in here and I'm itching about that for nothing. Easier recipes for guns would be nice. Fishing has got to be in this. I'm sorry, but I can't let that go. I cannot let it go. As a survival game guy, I cannot personally believe you want to call your game a survival game and you are not going to have it. I mean, come on, guy. You can't call it a survival game if you're not going to have one of the most basic needs of survival. Food. Fishing. I'm telling you in real life now, that is going to be one of my main staples of finding food is fishing. It is. And I don't fuck around with that notion. That is a serious, serious thing because I'm a decent fisherman. I'm not great, not perfect, but I am good enough. I'm good enough to get by with it. I'm good enough where I think I will do su sufficiently well. And I'm good enough where I feel like I could do alright. I could get where I need to go and back again. And I'm not afraid to skin the fish, I'm not afraid to cook, I'm not afraid to do any of that. I'll do what I need to do. I do want to show you all this weird ass thing. I feel like if there were aliens in my game right now, they'd be pouring out of here like little tiny fucking Republicans at a free money party. Let's give you a free out here. You're kind of 
that out on. You guys keep fucking relax. Or don't say give it to the girls all the time. Let's everybody relax, shall we? Let's have a good time today. Yeah, we had a good time tonight, though, actually. In real life, we uh, got to go and, and watch my wonderful daughter. We got a music, music recital, and that was awesome. She did great. She slayed it. So, proud of her. Um, always proud of her. I think that's the coolest part about being a parent, is you just kind of get to watch them do their thing. And, uh, you know. Have to, you don't want to lord over them. You want to let them be their own person. I think to me that's been my my strategy to being a good parent. Is I, I don't tell her who she should be. I let her be who, who she is, and then I I'm there for her along the way. And if she fucks things up, then I gotta be there when she needs me to be. But so far, she has not fucked things up, and I'm very thankful for that. Crafting items, the return of our. Uh, when I first bought this, I want to say that there was some sort of armor. There's also a fence here. So, a bigger map is definitely in order. That's a no brainer. No brainer. I would like to see this area expanded quite a bit. Maybe we start here. What would happen if this was a government testing area? Sure. And then if we can go into it, or creepy woods, or, you know, an area that saw a lake, an area that saw different kinds of weathered areas, an area that. If this isn't a government test design, that fence suggests is that a fence in. A neighborhood like the Manhattan Project, therefore, I'm part of a test, right? Well, then, oh shit, Andrew. Then, why wouldn't I be monitored as well? Maybe put up some weird cameras, you know, something that feels like a CCTV thing, something that makes me feel like Big Brother's watching, something that makes me feel like, maybe there's a small hint, a small inkling, that maybe I'm not alone. Maybe I'm not the last human. We do a lot with this game, so... But I think the developer should consider. Um... If anybody knows how to get in contact with the dude and get him to respond, I would love to talk to him. And run some, just some ideas by him here. Uh, because again, the HUD is looking great. It's a huge upgrade from the last update. Um, update to go, he said he was worried that he was not going to be able to get the optimization up on new PCs. And as you can see now, I'm hitting at least 30 FPS. Which, let's be honest, for a one main game, that's very respectable, I think. I'll give him some credit there. Is it the best? Well, it's certainly not the worst. For a guy that couldn't promise anything to start promising, you know, that's kudos, man. That's kudos. It's not giving up. Actually, a little P, you got a developer who had a great game fall into his lap and just pissed it away. I don't want to say who, uh, but he simply, in my eyes, threw a bit of a hissy fit because he didn't get enough. People interested and decided he was going to go ahead instead. Instead, and just not work on the game at all. And it's a shame because he had a very charming game. And all he really needed to do was do a few simple things like fix sound points for enemies, fix sound points. Uh, because those are fixed points in games normally. You'll look out in games if I remember right. Depending on programming. Some will call them anchors. What happens is you will, for example, put, say, a sound anchor where. Yeah, see, I don't need any of this. What we're gonna do though is dump this in here now that I have a piece of this. Yeah, I don't need that. 
Inventory management. You don't need to go there. I want to say there were boards. Oh, boards out here somewhere. I guess. Um. I can get away. Kill more of that cat away, mate. He just didn't allow me, but oh well. What's up, big kid? Speaking of big kid, he's now eating him. Sorry, Charmin Farmin, but I need you. No, don't run, baby. Get some special you me. I see. No. I see. I'm sorry, baby. But now I need your delicious meats. Oh, God. I feel horrible about this. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a vegan. I do eat meat, but... In a survival situation, I would never want to have a supper like this. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not feeling regret about this. Another. Pardon me. I'm not even playing with me with this. I get bullshit. If your health insurance covers an ass whooping. How do how do you guys like that one? Does that one good? Oh no, see like the leather? Totally useless right now, and I don't dig that because I feel like I just wasted half of that cow. And what exactly? So, yeah, bring that shit back, man. That body of me is very valuable. Got a bunch of these fucking non dying ass zombies. That are like the mega zombies. Out. They just keep getting up and walking around. Little meth heads in the hood. And nothing's killing them. Uh, I will definitely make a little post about that after this as well. But as you see, my pro tip of the day is ram their ass with a car. If the developer decides he wants to take and bail himself the coding on them because holy shit are they just they should not be this tough. Also, as you see here, the damage in this car will eventually blow up when they start to get close to blowing up. Go up to another car and uh, just pop that trunk, open your shit up, transfer it over. <laughs> Apparently pour more gas right into the hood because that's how they do it in zombie land USA wherever this is and then just keep going it's funny because I thought honestly there, I was going to do a review but I really wasn't going to do any driving whatsoever and now I don't want to get out of the damn car these little shits are just everywhere um, maybe I'll do a follow-up if you guys want some sometime, not tomorrow. But you guys have been so slow about this stuff. We get enough views. Can we get some big views on this one? And I will go ahead if we get enough views. And actually make our next game a free survival game. Uh, the theme for these two have been budget survival games. Are they worth the budget? Which one at its price point is best? As I said, this one is regularly no more than $2.49. Um, the DLC is usually about $0.99, cents, so all in all, you're looking at it roughly around 4 or 5 bucks for everything. So let me ask you all. Is it worth the price point? You tell me. Do you all feel it's worth the price point? I can't tell you. You tell me. Drop me a line. You tell me. You say yes or no. You know, yes phones, I totally get this. Yes phones, I get this. But, I'd change this. Let me know, you know. I would love to tell a developer. Look, our viewers dig this, but they don't like this. Let me know. 
Um, so before you go, I am going to tell you all how to get out of this game. All that stuff is cooking, and I made a compass here. And like I said, get tab, you can drag and drop stuff out of here. Let's see, I hit two now, I can check my compass. Now, I could have swore there was a map. And I'm probably out of my mind here. It's not M though. It's not escape. Well, because he's Portuguese, he tried to explain to me that I wanted to escape. I don't like that either. He needs to, he needs to tighten it up a little. He's accidentally telling me that doing that will help. That is my hunger. Hydration, stamina, help. Um, so very simple HUD. Building the weaponry, although really guns should be under here since uh, I have a gun DLC that I've shifted. Tools, these are also weapons. Um, as for guns, I would, I really, I'm requesting personally a slingshot or sling, or both. I like to see a slingshot and pebbles under ammunition. We have rocks in the game. And he's thought to the nail about the idea of doing it, but he has really, I don't care what he says, he has got to put in fishing. He's going to end up being the only survival game not having fishing, and it's... You don't want to be the one bucking the system in a sea of survival games. Now, advantages this one has. Clean interface. Room for growth. Still being developed. Pretty decent developer. Very friendly. Takes advice. Likes to talk with you. Um, is willing to work with you. Tries very hard to make sure that he's pleased you out, and that you get your money's worth. Those are good things. Those are good things as a gamer. You know I don't bullshit you out or tell you wrong. So, you know, those are things that genuinely I have experienced with this developer. Um, and that's no bullshit. That is genuine, you know, so... I'm gonna carry the handgun, I think, and save the big daddy gun in case shit ever hits the fan. Uh, we're gonna do that. Now, one thing I would like to be able to do, I'll be honest here, is just see like a easier... Maybe I'm thinking too much about it here. Um, but I would like to be able to throw uh, grab this and Don't I have arrows somewhere? put the arrows up here because frankly these animals I can just run up and hack. Um, so we're gonna do that and then just put the tools and weapons like that down here. This stuff can kind of hang out up here. So I'm a little more organized. Now how you get out of this first of all let me get my ass in the bedroom. Another pro tip, get to the beds before it gets too dark to even see. You know, backspace, and from there you're going to hit quit. So, on bones, the next one, the price point is going to be zero. This one, all in all, is roughly about five bucks. Uh, Radiation Island, the one I did before this, is $9.99. Um, and out the gate, you have enemies. Radiation Island, developer, I implore you. Give us the option to turn off the zombies, but keep the animals aggressive, and you would have a much needed mode that I think would be brilliant and still a fun survival game. This game already could have you there if he decides to make a, a DLC, um, but I hope he doesn't do DLC. I hope he just puts the option in for more aggressive animals you can hunt and kill and get more rewards like more fur for leather you know better stuff you can use a much bigger supply of food um, maybe some salt minerals so you can salt and cure your food stuff like that that said um, this is a late night one actually I will tell you how late 
Holy cow, it's 143 now, so, yeah. So I'll get to the, uh, converting this, re-encoding it on top of this. Thank you guys so much. Uh, the next video will probably be sometime during Saturday evening. And that will be the third and final surprise one, and that price point is zero. So the big question is, how good can a free one be? I'll tell you this, the graphics are about N64 quality, but the gameplay has a massive variety of stuff to do. It's a legendary game in the circles of people who had computers that were a little earlier, like Windows XP-ish, to the Vista era, around there. So you may know it, you may not. The guy is working on part three of the game right now. I'll say that as well. And I'll give you all the info you need. We'll go do a run through. Um, and that one will be free. I'll link you to this one down below the store page. Um, and you'll see what I mean. The game is generally on sale for 49 cents. Uh, that may actually be the store price. I don't know. Uh, like I said, I got it and now the DLC content and one fell swoop. A buddy of mine claimed he paid only two forty nine for me and gifted it to me, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, so, I am Bones. Please share on your favorite media site from the Twitter sphere to your Facebook. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Comment below which one do you like better now that you've seen both. If you have seen both, if not, go back watch Radiation Island. Don't watch this one. Let us know. Which is a better survival game? Who won the battle of survival games? And then, come back for round three. Let us know what you think of that one. You guys have a great night.